Hi and welcome to another video tutorial and in this tutorial itself we will be focusing on creating assessment family 1 which is one out of the 5 families that you were tasked to create uh, for the assessments and uh, you can find this PDF in the LMS portal itself there's a total of 5 so one chair, one uh, cabinet, and three tables, all very uh, simple and basic shapes. So we'll start off with assessment family one. And for now, I need you to take a picture of uh, probably uh, using your phone because I will be turning this off. And uh, you might not get what I'm doing without a picture to reference from. So just take a picture and we will begin. Okay, so I hope that you have already took the picture and we'll be creating the first table uh, using families, new matrix generic model, open. And as usual, we set up the skeletons of the family, which is the reference plane. So I'm just going to create those reference plane do the dimension eq and this will be let me see the length and we also have the width which is here okay so on the assessment the length of the table is one two zero zero but first we need a parameter for length and we need a parameter for width here and I'll just adjust them to be 1200 by 750 okay so that's the shape of uh, the table and I'm just going to create an extrusion rectangle lock all four sides press the green tick go to the front elevation okay and Probably two reference planes, one for the height of the table and another one for the thickness. Do a dimension, press the tab key before you uh, release your dimension. So this is the height, this is the thickness. A parameter for thickness, a parameter for height. So I'm just going to use the align tool to make this shape uh, the top of the table. Okay, there you go, and the height is now 900. And the table thickness from the picture is 50. And I like to always uh, arrange them based on how frequent you will use them. So the length and width are things that um, a user would regularly adjust, whereas the height and thickness is something that uh, is less, uh, less chance that people will actually go and modify them. So there you go, the top of the table is created and now I'm just going to create the legs of the table. So the legs of the table um, are going to create it in the reference level view. Create extrusion and rectangle, around rectangle here, another one here. Don't worry too much about the size yet. Okay. And if you look at the second image for assessment family one, where you look at the underneath of the table, you will notice that the offset, the leg offset from the table is fixed at 100. So 100 and 100. Lock this, lock this to be 100. And the legs thickness is fixed as well. Fixed as well. So this is also 100. I'm just going to change my scale to be smaller because the words or the dimensions are overlapping. So here is another hundred. Lock this, lock this, and a little tedious, but we will just uh, get over this. So remember to use the reference plane to dimension towards the reference plane and not the shape of the table. Okay, hundred, hundred. Ok, 
it does not really matter which um, dimensions or alignment you do first just make sure to complete everything and this is here to here and here to here you probably could have mirror it or mm, copy instead of uh, doing it so many times it's not going to be 100% but probably just a slightly faster if you use mirror or um, copy command in here okay here we are also make sure all of them are locked Okay, here, here, here. Okay, all of them are locked. Press the green tick and I will be going to the front elevation because I need to adjust. Uh, I need to lock them to the bottom and also make sure to lock the legs to the bottom. So it creates from the bottom but it's not locked to the bottom. So this is a lot of times where people actually forget to do this step. I don't believe it's a major issue in your project but uh, better to make sure the family is operating well at all times so just lock it to the bottom and there you go the legs uh, the four legs and this table has three supports so the support is here and uh, just that the front does not have a support so the left and the right side they have a support between the legs as well as the you can say this the front also have a support for the legs so the support is uh, 50 by 50 thickness and I'm probably going to create uh, in the reference level okay so the thickness is 50 you can infer this information from the first picture I'm going to lock all of them one two three okay so you should have uh, three locks for that one and another 50 here lock 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 and another 50 here lock of them again so this one is not locked so I need to probably create a dimension just to make sure that it is locked in place and will not move around okay so just this tree for the support and press the green tick and you probably need to go to the left elevation where it's, where it's much more clearer to see so this is the support over here and firstly the support is also 50 in thickness so this number we're just going to make it uh, the difference to be 50 and once the difference is 50 to a dimension lock it at 50 and it says that the support height formula is one quarter of the height so from the bottom of the support to the reference level it must be one quarter so I'll just name this support height first and it has to be a formula where it's height divided by 4 okay so for support height I'm just going to make it a little lower so this will be height divided by 4 and there you go 2 to 5 as shown in the image I'm just going to give this a name um, L times cell 50 W times no times 900 H press the OK and under identity identity data you need to use a model that will be TLB S and let me see what else do we have here description is small table okay and there is actually two types two sizes or types that you can say in Revit so a new type and the next type will be actually 1500 in length times 900 width times 900 height press the OK change the parameter values let me see 900 900 okay the height didn't change so this will be M and this will be small table and lastly we need to make sure that we have um, parametric materials or parametric attributes for the materials of the table 
So the material of the tabletop, I'm going to select this tabletop over here. Under materials to the left, associate family parameters, a new one. Let me just name this uh, tabletop material. And okay, and then the legs and the support will share the same material. So then I will just call it legs support material and press the OK button. And the last thing that you need to do is change it to the appropriate category, which is the furniture category. Press the OK button. And that's it for this assessment family one. And see you in the next video for assessment family two, three, four, and five.